Listen to the following speeches and pay attention to the content, register, intonation and mood. The first speech is at a 16th birthday party. The second speech is at a wedding. Hi, um, um, I've known Sarah for like less than two years now, but I really love you so much. You're my best friend ever and thank you so much for all the memories. I love you. Hi, I'm Suji, and I'm not here to give an ordinary speech about how I love my best friend Sarah, because you already know that. I'm here to describe my relationship to Sarah in a different way. Sarah, you're not only my best friend, but you're my sister. And even though we only look alike in certain photos, I like to think of you as my twin sister. Friends are the people you go to the mall with and talk about gossip and boys with and have slumber parties, but Sarah and I take this to a new level. Like sisters, we share clothing. Not just a shirt here and there, there's literally a section of my closet dedicated to clothes I have borrowed from her. We share secrets far beyond our latest crush and friend drama. Our secrets extend as far as our most personal thoughts and our deepest hopes and dreams. We share makeup and spend countless hours hanging out in each other's rooms and having week-long sleepovers. And lastly, we fight. Let me tell you, there's a big difference between a fight between two friends and a fight between two sisters. And that's a fight between two sisters always has an end. And no matter how mad we are at each other, we know we'll forgive one another. That is why Sarah and I are unlike any un ordinary pair of f best friends. And although we aren't blood related, we're still waiting on the DNA results. Sarah, I love you so much, and I just really want to say that you make everything more worthwhile to me. You're there for me when I'm in tears, and you're the only one who knows how to make everything okay again. You've gotten me out of really dark places before, and if it weren't for your motivation, I wouldn't be where I am today. Your parents are literally my second parents, and Hia and Hind are like my little siblings too, and I'm so fortunate to have you and your family in my life. Sarah Nair, oops, my bad, Nair, as my mom always says. You're my twin, my rock, the Mary-Kate to my Ashley, my sister, my other half, and most importantly, my best friend. You bring out the best in me and you surprise me with your beautiful personality every day, and I love you so much. This is gonna be tough. Um, my sister means a lot to me. All right, first thing, first things first, I need to thank my parents because they instilled in me and Liz to have this amazing relationship that we have. And when Liz asked me to be, um, her honor attendant, it really meant the world to me. And the first thing I started thinking about was when we were young, probably for the first six or eight weeks of a school year, when, which Liz started, I got called into the principal's office. And all my friends and all the people that were in my class used to think that I was a naughty kid, but it was just my sister being in the office and wanting to know that I was there and that she would see her parents when, when school was done. And I remember just hugging her in the principal's office and telling her everything was going to be okay and that I'd be there for her. And now I, I'm looking at her, and she's a beautiful bride, so accomplished. And she works really hard. And she's worked really hard to become the woman that she is. And I couldn't be more proud of you I don't think anybody can be more proud of you than I am. And I constantly think about those days, and I constantly think about our times together. And they're the best times of my life. And I hope that Sophia and Robbie have the same relationship that we do. Because <laughs> you mean the world to me. You're so beautiful, and I love you. And... You know, we used to share the internet in my in my room, and uh, <laughs> I'm gonna try to live uh, get get this a little bit another direction. But we used to we the internet was in my room. I was the older brother, 
And she, one time, was sitting there, and I remember this clear as day, and she said, um, I said, what are you doing? And she said, well, there's this guy that I like, and uh, I'm going to take him to a Mets game. He's coming from Michigan. And so I laughed because I was like, the Serranos don't take anyone that they like to a, a Mets game. We, we're Yankee fans. We bleed pinstripes. That's what we do. Uh, but, uh, you know, I, it was, it, it's, so, it's so crazy because I, I think about that day and I, I just think about who my sister is. And she knew. I, knew, I know she knew that Ryan would be her husband. I knew it. I, and she knew it. I, I just, I had this, you know, she's just, she's that type of, of woman. She knows what she wants. And I really, really, really love my brother-in-law, Ryan. You're an awesome addition to our family. And, um, I miss you when I don't see you guys, you know? So, I just, I, I want you guys to live real happy and just always remember something. The most important thing in life is to love each other. That's it. And make each other laugh. Keep making each other laugh and stay happy. And everything else will work itself out. Don't pay attention to the dumb stuff. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. Just love each other and laugh. I love you guys.